Yo, what's going on, folks? You know who it is. Um, I just want to talk about like my overall kind of content strategy going forward. And it's not, it's not, uh, this isn't a SEO play at all. Um, I know that like CRMs, marketing automation, this kind of space, email marketing, it's all incredibly competitive. So I'm really kind of focusing on other ways of, of getting people interested in, in the service and other products and stuff like that. So I created a little graphic. You know, some, you know, a little bit for you, mostly for me, just put my ideas onto, you know, paper, so to speak. Uh, I do have it written out here, but also, hey, check this out. <laughs> so basically, here's going to be like my kind of overall plan moving forward. Um, starting with video, I, I'm going to be creating uh, videos first because I've, I, I, I know it's easier to sit here and talk for 15 minutes about something uh, extemporaneously where I have some kind of, you know, some kind of idea of what I want to say, but it's not scripted out and pre-planned and all that stuff. It's very organic and very natural just talking about it. Um, just an expansion of my lead magnet, which I talked about in the last video, which would be like seven areas to improve in, in a given you know, process and then seven improvements that can be made within that, um, within those areas. So... 49 total pieces, I'll take those videos, chop them into short form videos, upload them onto various platforms that allow for short form videos. Um, same with the long form videos. I don't plan on, I, I'm not trying to, you know, build a YouTube channel uh, with them. I'm just trying to put that information out there, get some people to view it, and then hopefully take some action um, at, at some point. Uh, so for like an example, uh, it's not video creation or anything like that, but I, I just wanted to drum up some kind of uh, example um, you know like here's one area video creation workflow and then up, like within that video creation workflow here are seven things you can do to improve that your collaboration tools um, different tools you can use pre-production planning filming process uh, time management communications quality assurance and organization um, just make a video about all those things what I'll take, you know, I'll chop those in short form videos. I'll use those and, and create, you know, if and when I, I start doing like social media stuff, I'll get examples from there or not examples, but uh, content from there and turn them into whatever tweets or LinkedIn posts or whatever. Um, but I'll take those videos, transcribe them in articles, publish those on my website. In addition to publishing those on my website, also syndicate them, put them on LinkedIn or Medium or any other place I can um, put, you know, articles online. Um, because like I said earlier, it's like, it, it's not an SEO play. It's not, the, it's incredibly difficult to rank for any of this stuff with a pure just, hey, I'm going to put up an article and cross my fingers. It, it, it'll take years before, you know, start seeing any sort of real significant um, traffic from that. But what I want to do is take those articles, once they're all created, you know, it's 49 actionable, actionable areas to improve a given thing, compile them in a book, compile them into a book, and then sell the book on, you know, Amazon and, and Barnes and & Noble and, and iTunes or i whatever iBooks, the Google Play Store, um, it, it, uh, dozens of places you can sell ebooks online and also create like a hardback copies or uh, physical copies as well. Um, that's kind of the end goal here uh, as a tripwire, whatever you want to call it, just a low cost product. People are like, oh, not only does this, this guy know what the fuck he's talking about, but it's like real, like actionable steps to take, not just like theory or whatever like that. Um, like I said, I might get some organic traffic from the articles, but it's, that's not what I'm, that's not what I'm doing this for. Uh, more or less just creating a, a nice repository of, of resources that I can start sending out to, uh, prospects, whatever, and to see like, Hey, he, you, you looked at these pages. Here's additional information that, that, that relates to that thing that you were researching um yeah and i mean within those articles and, and even the videos i'm sure i'll have like call to actions and, and like affiliate content or not content but affiliate links you know if oh you need collaboration tools here are four collaboration tools 
that uh, have different, you know, costs and and features and benefits. Uh, pick the best one for you. You're not actually saying like this is the best one, but here are a few different options for you to explore. Uh, again, so if they're on LinkedIn or Medium or whatever else, then I'll still you know get that. Additionally, the articles will have internal links, so when they are put on those other sites, if people click one of those, they'll come back to the site. Yada yada yada. Boom bam bang. <laughs> getting people um that's kind of it that's that's kind of it i mean i'm not going to start doing this for a few weeks i really want to get a lot of this other stuff set up first i know it's like the antithesis of what you know is recommended as far as you need to get clients right away but i'm not like strapped for cash that i'm like i need clients today i can i can kind of just wait a little bit until I have a bunch of things set up and then start going out and uh, doing outreach and stuff. So that's kind of that. Oh, uh, that's kind of that. I mean, man, in the last like week or so, I've gotten a lot of things knocked out on my little checklist here. Again, I have the, the big old sketch pad full of just things I need to do and accomplish over the next month. And it's going pretty well, I'd say. Um, I got a few, like two more service pages I need to create. Um, I still need to actually finish the, the core lead magnet that I'm going to be expanding on in the videos and all that stuff, but I want to get that up on the site. That way I can actually have a call to action um, in those videos saying, hey, if you found this valuable, you know, here's this thing, here's this uh, list of steps you can take to improve your process. Um, I don't think, I don't want to do like, an email opt-in for it just hey free to do whatever pdf upload on the site whatever i'll have like in the footer you know links back to the site i'll have call to actions throughout the, the the book but it's like hey just take this and and run with it i don't i don't want to i don't know bloat my my crm with a bunch of freebie seekers i'd rather just give it away and be like hey take it if you're interested in working, boom, you can reach out. But otherwise, I'm not going to sit there and try to, hey, you, you give me your email and send them, you know, 49 emails over the course of the next six months. Um, yeah. Or I might have it. I don't know yet. I'm, I'm still, like, undecided on that as far as the email opt-in thing goes. Um, maybe I'll test it for a little bit, give it away for free, see if there's a bunch of uh, downloads or whatever. And then, you know, maybe... Uh, email gate it um, and see if those actually convert or anything like that but uh yeah that's kind of that's kind of that 